So we have the cost of debt component and the cost of equity component. Then WAC is, quite simply, the addition of these two components. But where can I find all of these variables? Let's start with the debt component. The value of debt is generally determined by looking at the book value of debt for a company, meaning the amount of debt they are showing on their balance sheet. In some cases, it is important to look at the market value of debt versus the book value of debt. For example, if debt is trading at a substantial discount to its book value, you should consider using the market value. However, in the majority of cases, the book value will suffice. It is also important to consider the long-term capital structure of a company when considering the amount of debt. If a company is currently over-levered or under-levered from its proposed long-term debt levels, I would recommend adjusting the total debt to align with the company's long-term guidance versus what it has as its current levels. For a public company, the cost of debt can be found by looking at its filings and seeing what it pays for its current debt tranches. For a private company, it's a bit more complex and generally best to look at the cost of debt for comparable public companies. The corporate tax rate is most easily assessed by looking at a company's historical tax rates or previous financial statements. In the absence of this information, the U.S. corporate tax rate is currently 21%, and then you should account for any state or local business tax rates. The cost of equity can be derived using the Capital Asset Pricing Model, or CAPM, which we will dive into on the next slide. And the equity value is simply the market cap of the company on its current trading levels. As noted on the previous slide, the V, or value component, is just equity plus debt.